Hello and welcome to Murky's on the spot review of Severium by Vostok Games and the game is still in closed beta. I have beta access, I applied, got lucky um, and so there's NDAs, there's non-disclosure agreements so by the time you see this it'll be an open beta um, and the NDAs won't apply anymore so this will be an earlier version than you'll get to play unless you're in a closed beta. Um, the open beta should be fairly soon, a couple of months maybe um, and in case you don't know, Vostok Games are some of the guys who made Stalker, the Stalker series, and after that all hit the fan. Um, Splinter Group um, moved off to make Severian, which is a free-to-play, online, multiplayer, um, I guess, shooter. Um, as of the closed beta, the only thing that's available is the deathmatch um, with some objectives and things. But there will be player versus environment and um, more exploration modes. Um, less just running around shooting people Counter-Strike style um, and so at the minute it's pretty cool um, the free to I mean I was to be honest quite, quite frank I was a little bit wary because free to play online shooter I mean come on who hasn't played enough, enough um, first person shooters with a post apocalyptic setting before everyone has um, so I was a little bit wary um, but I actually really enjoy it um, for reference I have a fairly high end machine not crazy but not too bad either, and this is it on mm, high settings. I think everything's on high apart from anti aliasing. At the minute, you only have one character. Uh, it works so it has certain sort of RPG elements. You level up to improve the usual sort of stats. Um, you unlock weapons by, well, you have missions which increase your standing with the four factions that are present at the minute, and then it um, gives you the option to buy. Uh, better equipment and weapons and so on. In terms of progression in the game, I'm about halfway. I've got about half of everything. Just got an AK um, and a shotgun, which is pretty nice. Um, and so let's just go ahead and um, start a match. There's only, I mean, I'm actually have a day off today, so it's actually quite early. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon on a Wednesday. Um, so there's only 384 people playing the, the closed beta. So the matchmaking might take a while. Um, as, as of now, it's a uh, close beta, free to play. Um, there will be premium content, but it looks like it will primarily be um, cosmetic stuff. Um, the matchmaking doesn't have dedicated service at the minute, at least. Uh, the matchmaking seems okay. Occasionally, I get stuck against people who have all the gear and who uh, kick my ass. Um, but overall, generally speaking, uh, it's fine. Um, I haven't noticed any real bugs. Um, it runs really well. Uh, I'm getting. 50, uh, basically around 50 to 60 frames, apart from when things really kick off. There's a few times when I get frame rate drops, um, but it's not bad. As I said, it looks it looks pretty good. There's a bit of motion blur. This is basically how it looks in-game. It's the same engine. This is the lobby, obviously, um, and in-game it looks about the same. In terms of what's available, as I said, there's uh, basically a deathmatch um, available at the minute with, I think, eight players on each team. Uh, matches usually last about five minutes, sometimes a little bit more. I think the max is eight minutes, so you're not going to be hanging around forever. Um, the maps are very well designed, if a little bit small. Um, people who are watching this probably watch my channel, and if they do, they're used to playing Project Reality, which is what I normally play. Um, Project Reality being a BF2 total conversion, which has huge maps, three, three kilometers, four kilometers square. So maps are smaller, but they're very well designed. Um, and the actual, the gunplay is still there. If you played Stalker, you probably enjoyed the weapons ballistics, the weapons handling, uh, despite the fact the uh, the weapons themselves were mirrored in the game. They were back to front in terms of where the ejection port was, for example, um, but the, the ballistics, the gunplay, and the movement is all very nice um, online, so uh, it is it is pretty cool. I would recommend, if you're, if you're watching this, I won't be able to put this up, as I say, until after the closed beta has ended. Here we go, loading in. Uh, this is on a solid state uh, disk, so that's why it's pretty fast. Um, um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, so if you're seeing this, the open beta will be open, so it, um, it should be available, you just load in and just down, just apply, download it, it's fine, it installed, no problem. Um, but even the full game will be a little bit of clipping there, so it's not it's not completely fixed. It's, uh, even that, uh, there's two guys, two clones, me and him. Ooh. Um, but yeah, even the completed game will be free to play, so um, not much to lose. And as I said, it's, there is some payment elements, but it looks like it won't be, it will be mostly cosmetic. You might see there's a little bit of lag, that is network connection, because at the minute they've only got um, one server up for m matchmaking and all that stuff. And everything's server-side, all the ballistics, all the hit detection and stuff is server-side. So 
I think it's in uh, Russia or at least it's in Europe. Um, so yeah, as you may have just noticed, <coughs> the in terms of the gunplay, it is very realistic. I got shot in the body and I died from it straight away. That was faster than normal, but you will get your ship pushed in pretty rapid. Um, as I said, it's Q to spot people. That's why that guy went red before he totally killed me. Um, so it's very fast, and yeah, don't get a shot because you will just fall down like a sack of shit. Um, and the objective in this uh, game mode, the only one that's available, is to collect these. They're called batteries, but they're like radio parts. Um, and someone spotted this for me. Um, so you'll be used to the, if you pick this up, you'll be used to the first person shooter controls. Basically, nothing's really changed. Um, there is a fair amount of scope for customization in terms of loadout in cosmetics, depending on which faction, as I showed those missions, depending on which faction you join, you can end up looking quite different and also playing quite differently. Like, obviously, that guy is a sniper over there. I've gone with an assault rifle. Uh, the other thing that's quite interesting about this game is the fact that shotguns actually work. If you play it in first person shooters, you'll realize after about 10 meters, shotguns do fuck all for no particular reason. Um, whereas in real life, uh, you know, shotguns work real nice. Um, which is quite nice to actually have moderately realistic ballistics and weapon handling and whatnot. I mean, this is an AKM 7.16 by 39, and if I play on full auto on the fun mode, it will sway around. Well, the other thing is, I'm not sure about the sound levels when I record this, but uh, the sound of the gunfire is actually really loud, man. Which makes sense, and like your ears aren't going to ring in the game, but uh, it does knock, block out a lot of the uh, footstep sounds, etc. And as you can see, that was full auto, I shot 18 rounds. <coughs> Pretty uncontrollable. Sneaky fucker, it's the same guy. So there are people with uh, out jobs and um, people in their lives who obviously spend a lot of time on the internet um, who can play this game for 10 hours a day and kick my ass. But um, there is a lot of scope for tactics and thinking outside the box. I have managed to, uh, generally speaking, perform quite well and keep my KDR up um, just by being sensible, flanking hard and fast, things like that. So yeah, this is me... Um, the reason I'm avoiding the fight is I'm looking for some of these more, more of these batteries, um, which might be around the place. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, oh, there are anomalies. My current mission is to collect two anomalies if I want to increase my standing with the scavenger faction. Oh, fuck. Watch out, mate. Um, maybe sniper. Um, you can see the benefit of marking people on the map. Um, what was I going to say? So yeah, so there are anomalies, as in Stalker, with... Uh, Like, so I really to go in and you basically will get killed if you not if you don't look alive. But there's cool artifacts inside which will affect your um, abilities. So my current mission in uh, top right, you can see zero out of two, is to collect two artifacts in this round. But it's pretty hard to do on this map, um, so we'll see what I can do. That's the artifact, that's the anomaly there. There we go. Oh, he's down. What about his mate? Ah, here's one. Come on, come on, come on. I'm basically gonna die just at the same time I get it. Oh, fucker. You can increase your isolation, the um, amount of time you can survive inside the anomalies. Um, you basically have two sort of specializations you can either move towards um, being tough as hell, being able to take shotgun and bullets and whatnot, like a pro, or you can increase isolation, which means you can survive in the anomalies. It's very much sort of a scout versus tank approach. Uh, 
Um, in terms of, I mean, obviously there's been lag because I mentioned the server is a bit far away, um, but in terms of hit detection and how it works as an FPS, I've been very pleased. Um, so not many complaints. And you know, you can do things like put on single fire in your AK, which is actually quite nice. Um, just little things like that. I've actually got, I've actually got the weapons facing the right way around this time. Fuck about. I want the artifact, you cunt. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I should be able to do this time. Oh, fuck's sake. <coughs> I should have enough isolation to stay there, but... This is the, one of the issues of the game, is that it gives you missions to increase your standing with various factions if you do missions. It's usually get a 2 to 1 KDR, um, win the game without having anyone steal anything from our main base, um, bring back two objects for the, ob for the objective, um, which work out, but if it's something like this, grab two artifacts, you end up not really playing with your teammates, not really trying to win in the conventional sense. Um, so it looks, yeah, it might be quite a close match, actually. Um, I'm trying to think what else I can tell you. Um, so this is, I think there's about half a dozen maps, maybe a few less or a few more. Um, that's one with that artifact enabled, making them glow. Um, so yeah, there are about half a dozen maps, and they are all mm, slightly different in terms of layout and what kind of uh, st tactics they would encourage. Um, but they're all sim very similar in theme. Sort of abandoned buildings, sort of wasteland types. Um, the another one of the issues they have is that you can't swap weapons once you once you're in, once you're playing a match. Um, so if I had just shotguns and I realised it was this map which would save our rifles, I'd be out of luck. I couldn't um, I couldn't swap weapons like far respawn or whatever. Got one, yeah, one out of two. Um, so yeah, the maps they will they will favor they will encourage people to explore. If I was to spend my time, if you, there are a lot of opportunities to flank and really get behind enemy lines by taking uh, less travelled routes. Um, so it's not like Counter Strike the dust to where everyone's going to go to the same routes and everyone knows everything. Um, at least at this stage, there's a bit of options for sort of thinking outside the box, which is quite nice. Now. The thing I really like about online multiplayer games, first-person shooters specifically, is teamwork. Uh, you play with people, even people you don't know, and you, um, you know, you get to do some proper teamwork, which is nice. But in this, uh, the scope for that is limited. There's no in-game mumble or VoIP, so you can't talk to people. You can just type. Um, you can't revive or heal people. And when we're on team, all you can do is use Q for Quebec to spot people, like I'm trying to do with this guy. Um, but yeah, you have to be aiming right at them to spot, which is a bit boring. Down. Uh, that red guy's been spotted by someone. Guys, see, I want to shout enemy infantry over there, east side, second floor, but I can't. Just gonna clear this guy out the old fashioned way. Um, pretty close match so far, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna use, see, my they have a fairly reasonably well implemented damage system. If you see the little dummy on the bottom right of the screen. Um, I'm all yellow because I've been hit a bit. I press 3 to heal myself. Uh, you do regenerate health to some degree over time, but it does leave you with injuries. And the damage system means that you know you get shot in both arms, you can't be able to use your, your primary weapon, you get shot in the legs, you can't move very fast, etc. You get shot in the head, obviously, you're going to have a bad day. Um, so at least that's pretty cool. There's no lean function uh, as of yet. There are s 
thing still in development, but... And this is basically, I think, how it's going to look and how it's going to play. What I'm really looking forward to is the PvE, the player versus environment stuff. Um, in terms of story, it's basically, ooh, no, Mother Nature's gone bad, and she's again out against us, and nature's striking back, you know, the usual Gaia bullshit. Um, I'm an ecologist, um, I'm doing a PhD in ecology, so I kind of understand the way the environment works in real life. But, you know, I can suspend disbelief, it is effectively sci-fi. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, so the, the reason why we're collecting these things that we each team has four or four is they haven't modeled it yet, but there's a, st there's a storm coming in, um, which would kill everyone unless you have enough protection, and protection is the in the form of these things we're collecting. You need to have five in your base, and then you can activate a shield, which protects you from some kind of... Effectively, it's the blowout from stalker. Um, and if neither team has uh, five or more at the end of the match, everyone loses, everyone dies. Um, so there is some material penetration with this game, uh, if you have rifles or whatever. I have been shot from behind cover, which is quite nice. Um, I'm not sure how realistic it is. I haven't tested it fully, but... But uh, there is a potential to nail my fuckers through a wall, which is quite nice. Bosh. Welcome to the party, asshole. The other thing I should mention is um, spawn camping. Oh, I've run out of ammo. Um, can we carry 90 rounds? And this is another thing. You can't pick up ammo from dead guys. I carry 90 rounds, which is 3 mags, so they're okay. Once it's gone, it's gone. Down to secondary. Um, what was I going to say? I can't remember something. I talked about bullet penetration. Um, I ran out of bullets and got confused. Oh, that was it. Because of the way the levels work, there are, there are, no, there are no dead zones or zones of exclusion, if you will, um, to prevent spawn camping. You can, if I was to flank hard and fast enough, I could get to the enemy spawn point. There's nothing to stop me going there. I could literally shoot people as they spawn. Um, it's controlled a bit by the fact that it's hard to do, but you will, you can spawn and expect to meet contact straight off the bat if you're, um, if you're not careful. Fucking, <laughs> don't try and jump mate, come on. So yeah. Um, so now when I respawn I'll have more ammo, which is nice. Yeah, it is possible, I'm busy me respawning on my side of the map, but it's possible that literally there'll be someone here. I could come outside and there'll be someone just moving around up here somewhere. It does happen. Um, and it's a moderately le legit legitimate tactic. Um, because obviously if you're trying to steal these batteries from our objective, which is here, which is where we stash them all, you could have one guy just going in there causing a ruckus whilst his mate steals one from here and runs away. Because this is how it's going to work out. We've each team, if you look at the top, has got four out of the four objectives. They need five to win. Um, and so, oh fuck me. Um, and so if we need to win and we can't find the, mo the other two that are in the environment, the grey ones in the middle, then we need to uh, steal them from enemy base. So that does happen, as those two guys try to do. Um, when I had that last... Um, gunfight where I was using the shotgun in the middle of the map. Um, I pressed number 4 to activate the anomaly, I'm not sure if you noticed. Uh, the artifact, sorry. I think that reduces. Let's try it again. Lowest damage and armor piercing qualities of bullets hit the player by 90%. So my armor becomes more effective, which is nice. The issue with that is, it makes it bl glow green or red like a dickhead. So, um, oh, bosh. So you do stand out. It looks like we lost that one. Um, there are some magical... You get ammo if you see this found on the bottom. The more batteries you win the match by, the more things you get. And there is a random small chance of getting better guns, which is why I have an AK before I should. Um, so you uh, you get your little score at the end. Um, it doesn't look like many people pay attention to the 
explorer support shooter role, they'd basically just go for it. Um, but I don't get any cool items because uh, we lost. I think I might get a bit of money, which you can see up here, which is used to buy uh, cool stuff. Uh, this is stuff I own. Uh, you start, if you just download the game now as of close beta, you get uh, an, I guess an M38, um, Mosin, Nagant, Carbine, PPSH 41 with the box mag, uh, and a Tucker Rev TT33, and some very standard loads. Um, everything you see here I, I bought and unlocked. Um, yeah, so that's Severium. It, uh, if, you, if you're interested, you will apply for a close beta if you see this, or hopefully the open beta will be available and you can just play it. Um, and it is pretty fun. Um, it would could benefit from some more teamwork, but in terms of um, weapon handling and map design, it's, it's great for uh, online uh, FPS. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my on-the-spot review. I hope you found it informative. Any questions or um, any suggestions, anything you want to say, post it in the comments. I'm usually pretty good at responding. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching, and I'll see you out there in the zone. Cheers.